Tesla has released probably one of the biggest software improvement version 40.1.1. If you have received this update, you're probably smiling, laughing around. Now in this improvement, there's a huge improvement for lane changing, which is which does it very smoothly. There's also a improvement on charging rate. Now you could charge up to 170 kilowatts, also 200 kilowatts. Also, there's an autopilot improvement, which you will see in a second. And also the windshield wiper automatically has improved tremendously. And more importantly, remember how Elon talked about a future complete self-driving? Well, we just received a hidden code inside the software, which hints we might be receiving early access for full self-driving. Let's start this video and see. The first feature is lane changing, which has improved exponentially. It now behaves like a human driver when changing lanes. Before it would take four to five seconds for a lane change to occur from time that you set the blinker. Now with this new software update, it takes less than three seconds for it to change lane. Here's a video from Dirty Tesla showing on highway lane changing on version 40.1.1. So we are all clear. There's nobody around me. If I click this, immediately, oh yes, I am so excited. That was amazing. Let's do it again the other direction. Immediately. Now that's what I'm talking about. As you can see the rate of improvement, whenever he set the blanker, it changes within to two seconds. There's also an option to change the lane even faster called Mad Max. If you received this update, what do you think of this lane improvement? And anyone else who's just hearing about this, are you excited for the new update? Tesla has also improved the charging rate capacity for short range and mid range. The short range version now is capable of charging up to 170 kilowatts and the mid range can charge up to 200 kilowatts. Folks at Reddit are reporting they can charge from 6 to 75% in less than 30 minutes. That sounds absurd. Can someone please confirm this? If you have received this improved charging rate for your car, what do you think about it and what car do you actually have? Is it for short range, mid range or long range? Leave a comment below. And guys, if you watched this video till this point, please consider subscribing to this channel where we update you guys for all Tesla news below. Autopilot has also received an improvement, which happens to be one of my favorite. Before this update, in order for you to engage Autopilot, you would need to be driving 18 miles per hour for Autopilot to engage. Now you could engage Autopilot at zero miles per hour. If Autopilot is engaged at zero miles per hour, the car wouldn't move. But as you keep increasing the miles per hour, it starts moving. This is crucial for full soul driving where the car takes a narrow road, school stops, or a train wreck that may require driving 5 miles per hour, 10 miles per hour, or even 15 miles per hour. What do you think of engaging autopilot at a low speed? In which circumstance do you see yourself using the autopilot at a low speed? The automatic windshield wiper has also improved. The car uses the dashboard camera and sensor to detect over 1 million droplets of water. The onboard neural net computes it internally, the hardware 3, and it automatically sends the windshield wiper for the appropriate speed. This is very crucial for RoboTaxi to make sure it can swipe the rain off the windshield to not scare the passenger. Speaking of RoboTaxi, Green is a Tesla reverse engineer who is known to analyze software updates for Tesla. He noticed on this latest software update 40.1.1 a city street behavior code. This new code wasn't on the previous software. This could imply a street level autopilot is currently under development. The arrival of street autopilot enables driving from home to work and vice versa. Elon did mention on his interview this year, full self-driving feature complete will be released this year. Uh, you look at the uh, at most problems you tackle, this one included, in, uh, with an exponential lens. But even with an exponential improvement, things can take longer than expected sometimes. So where does Tesla currently stand on its quest for full autonomy? What's your sense? When can we see successful deployment of full autonomy? Well, on the highway already, the, the probability of uh, intervention is extremely low. Yes. Um, so f for highway autonomy, um, with the latest release, especially the, the probability of needing to intervene um, is 
is, is really quite low. In fact, I'd say for stop and go traffic, the, the, it's, ma- it's far safer than a person right now. And stop and go, the probability of an injury or an impact is much, much lower for autopilot than a person. And then with navigating autopilot, you can change lanes, take highway interchanges, and then we're coming at it from the other direction, which is low speed, full autonomy. And in a way, this is like, it's like, how, how does a person learn to drive? You learn to drive in the parking lot. You know, you know, first time you learn to drive probably wasn't jumping on Market Street in San Francisco. That'd be crazy. You learn to drive in, in the parking lot, get things, get things right at low speed. And, um, and then the missing piece that we're working on is traffic lights and stop streets. Stop streets, stop, stop streets, I would say, actually also relatively easy because, you, you know, you kind of know where the stop street is. Worst case, you can geocode it and then uh, use visualization to see where the line is and stop at the line to eliminate the GPS error. So it's actually, I'd say there's probably complex traffic lights and very windy roads. And this code seems to be hinting at it. As for early access for full self-driving, we're yet to see that. It's likely going to be beginning of next year. From all the improvement that we've seen today, what has been your favorite? And if you already received the feature, what are you most excited about? I hope this video was beneficial to you. If it was, please consider subscribing to the channel where we provide you guys all Tesla news. And if you're a Tesla owner where you would like to participate in this channel sharing your experience, please reach out to me.